Hey auntie. Hey aunties, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been so long since I last said that. Oh my gosh, where the hell have I been? I know, I know. But I'm back. Okay, so in this video, we are just gonna do a little bit of a catch up session. Okay, a wash day chill and chat with me not to get ready i just need to wash my braids because my hair is itching me like crazy okay like i think you can see like my scalp is just like it's really dirty and it's flaking and this is not cute mm -mm. so first things first i need a shampoo oh yes in this video um not sponsored but ors gifted me with some products which i'm very which I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much, OIS, for sending me these goodies. Um, so I'm going to be using the olive oil shampoo first. I also have the Protective Styles um, collection, the black one. But they have a dry shampoo and I just need to get some water in my hair. So I'm just going to go to like just use the old school one. And this is what I used to use when I started my my natural hair journey not natural actually my hair journey <laughs> okay so yeah this is what i'm gonna use first so i'm just gonna go with my hair put this on and then we'll come back and until then subscribe so long okay subscribe in the meantime okay cool okay so first things first i'm going to shampoo my hair using the creamy aloe shampoo this stuff has always been good but i think it does have sulfates in it yeah it does have sulfates but i don't mind because like i really need to clean my scalp like um i've just been like swaying towards sulfates lately like i really need for my scalp to be really clean anyway back to my story um uh, back to my story so where have i been these last three months okay so your girl finally got a job a proper nine to five okay i had been looking for a job since last year october and then finally the opportunity presented itself in july okay i got a job i went for the interview and on the spot they hired me and I started working that day. Okay, that's just like how impressive I thought I was. <laughs> Little did I know. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I was working for this company. Well, not a company per se, but you know, I was working for this lady. She runs a business from her house, okay? A white lady. She runs a business from her house, which is great for her because I think that's everyone's goal to be able to work from your house. And you know things were going well on top of that I was also working for her friend okay in a totally different industry doing like admin for her friend and stuff um, and then it just got to a point where I was starting to feel exploited I was starting to feel her low-key racist remarks you know like she sells like these skull candy earphones and she's like to me don't you want to come over the weekend to sell her stuff and i was like excuse me i am an individual with two degrees okay now i'm still i'm supposed to come and sell your stuff let me sell my own stuff first okay um and then she's like no no like you'd make a lot of money the blacks love it okay and i oh those are the kind of things she would say and um, she was she's very talkative like she would ask you a question you're about to respond she speaks over you um, she spokes in the office there are dogs everywhere it's just not professional she's asking me to help her maid switch on the washing machine just things like that and I just got to a point where I was just like you know what like I have been praying and praying for a job but I didn't pray for the type of job environment that I wanted to be in. I wasn't very specific about the job that I wanted to do. And um, then let's not even talk about the pay guys. Okay, the pay was peanuts. 
okay like it was nothing at all i would make just as much with my own like conditioning caps and satin bonnets and stuff like that you know like if i really pushed my hustle i could make just as much and i was supposed to earn commissions those commissions were not specified to me that they only come in after six months okay and who who's supposed to live like that like like it just it didn't make sense okay um i tried to push for three months and that's that's the reason for my absence okay so this was my job life that was upside down now for the personal let me go rinse this out i'll be back <laughs> Okay, so I'm back. Hair is washed. Scalp is breathing again. <laughs> um, yeah, for those who don't know, you can actually wash your braids. It's okay to do so. Okay. If your braids are itching you, if your scalp is dry, wash your hair within braids. Don't change your routine just because you have a protective style in. Okay. So, part two of my story. Um, okay, so that was my work life, which I don't really want to go into detail about, but. You guys get the gist. Um, my personal life was now affecting my work life because one, my family and I got evicted from where we were staying, hence the different location. I'm at my boyfriend's house currently. Um, my car was put on collateral, so I couldn't really do my job properly. Um, just that stress you know that stress was just like weighing on me like i couldn't sleep guys like i couldn't sleep like i just go to work and be a zombie literally just i'm not even focused i'm fucking up at work because i'm just like okay if where i was working was helping me to like help my situation at home in terms of like the cash zoila you know um at least I would put in more effort, you know what I'm saying? Because it, ha it has to balance somewhere, somehow, you know. Um, but it wasn't. And I was just like, okay, at this point, I've lost everything. I've lost everything. Um, the last thing I'm going to lose is my sanity. I'm, just, I'm not going to be around these people who are taking advantage of me, okay? Like... I'm here, I'm doing the work, but you know, this lady is swearing, she's smoking, she, she's telling me to watch over her dogs. Or I don't want to be nobody fucking babysitter. Go pick up my daughter, like I'm not your personal assistant. And at the end of the day, I saw that there wasn't going to be any growth where I was with her. And I did get to a point where I was like, okay, listen, a lot of stuff is, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. To juggle okay can I focus on the one thing because like I mentioned I was working two jobs okay and I liked working with her friend more because she was a lot more nurturing a lot more willing to teach you know she saw my potential and we were cool with that you know um, we were really cool together and she's like okay who do you want to work for which job do you want to choose and then i told her i want to work for your friend she's like no it's either you do both or you don't do either one that was the ultimatum that i was given my last week there there was like this big blow up we were words were you know said back and forth um i try to always be very respectful but like she really pushes people's buttons and she just doesn't have those soft managerial skills, you know. Um, and I was just like, you know what? Let's just call it quits because at the end of the day, guys, like I realized wherever you work, you are actually pushing someone else's dream. Okay. And if they don't appreciate you as a human being or your efforts, you'll just come to a place where you're like fuck it i'm out because you don't see any benefits out of it you know what i'm saying like it's just not it's it's you know you're you're paying someone for their time and when they say time is money time is really money like that's when I, my eyes were really open and i was like if i'm earning this here after 30 days when i can earn the same amount after a day okay after uh, a week of production and marketing and selling 
why am I killing myself? I can't come and kill myself, you know what I mean? So that's what happened. That's oh shit, I started talking. I've got my hair. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now is uh I think I'm gonna condition it. I want to condition it. So I will be using this the replenishing conditioner which smells like lemons. It's always reminded me of lemons. Um love this stuff this is some really really good stuff really really good stuff um so i'm just gonna put that on mostly the ends of my hair because and just the top here just work that in and i will sit in my deep conditioning cap for a bit probably just chilled in the sun or so that it stays hot for long and I will be back to conclude uh, where was I with the story oh, I forget anyway um so what I'm gonna do now is use this uh, braid spray um, this I use every other day although I haven't been using it as regularly as I should but yeah this I just use like where I think my hair is gonna end off there's no point of using it all the way here my hair is not that long um, this is just for added moisture as you know like extensions or any other type of like hair fiber is drying to the hair so you need moisture you need to moisturize the braids as well as moisturize your actual hair because hair loves moisture okay and then I'm gonna follow it up with this scalp balm this is just mainly to maintain like a healthy scalp you twist the cap and then it's just supposed to I don't want to twist it too much So this is olive oil as well as castor oil and almond oil. I absolutely love that it's got like an applicator tip. So it makes it easy to get like right to those lines. Use the spray sheen. I think this is new because this one actually has coconut oil in it. The other one is just olive oil. Um, so this is a hair sheen which can be used on both braids or um, like when your hair is out out. Um, just to give it that shine. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so happy right now. You guys don't even understand. Like, nothing makes me happier than clean hair. Seriously. Anyway, back to my story. So, where am I at now? Um, here's the thing. Auntie's like, me trying to juggle two jobs trying to figure out what i'm going to do with my life like where am i going to live in the next couple of days and um where am i going to get money and you know just trying to hustle um just just it just like put a damper on things it put a damper on my motivation in terms of like making content as you guys saw i wasn't pushing it as much as i was on social media even my own hustle i just didn't have the time okay because i'm juggling two jobs and when i get home i have to study because i'm in this new industry that i don't know about and there's just so much information for one person you know and you're being told i am 56 years old and i'm juggling and i have four businesses that i run and i'm just like excuse me you're not running them by yourself you have the help you know but i'm just as human like i get home after a long day's work after dealing with you and then um i get home i have to cook um i'm not all my money all my money i don't even get to save anything that's how small the monies were okay all my money i spend it on groceries as well as electricity you know like i was forced into this adulting thing before i was ready to like ready to be 100 percent independent but I'm just gonna take it as my push into adulthood and I'm just gonna embrace it and that's why I chose to like be like I deserve better you know I deserve better for myself even if, if it means me doing it for myself so I left and lo and behold after I left her friend 
um, the, my other boss was like, I feel like we should continue to work together, you know. And because I was now exposed to this other business, I tried to make connections and relationships there. And they really like like my work ethic. And just yesterday, I went for a meeting. Just yesterday, I went for a meeting. There was no actual available position for me, but they're making a position for me. They asked me, how much do you need? Like, what's good enough for you? I told them, they're like, okay, maybe we're not going to be able to match it, but we'll try to get close to it. That says a lot, you know? Like, that's God working right there, like, honestly. So, that's where I'm at in life. I'm trying to get back into pushing my hustle, into pushing my brand, and I miss... I missed you all. I really did miss you all. And thank you so much for your support. You guys have no idea. Like, even if it means buying a bonnet for 150 rands, that makes me so much happier. And, you know, just being in this space, being in the hair community makes me a lot happier too. So, that's my story. That's what happened to me. And that's why I've been quiet for a while. But, I'm ready to come back okay and this is not the last you're gonna see of me so with that being said thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in the next video make sure you subscribe comment if you've been through a similar situation please do leave a comment below because you never know you could encourage somebody um, or someone's going through what you went through and they need help coming out of it and until then bye aunties <laughs>